Dear students, my exam and brings you with a very good question on the working mode of a transistor. So in this question, we will try to understand that what is the particular mode in which the transistor is working. So here we have a common emitter configuration and uh, the value of beta is given to us as 100. The value of VBE is given as 0.7 volt. VCE saturation is given as 0.2 volt. Now there are four options out of which we need to choose the correct one. So you can see over here that the first thing that we must do is to identify the mode in which the transistor is working. So let us see how can we find this out. Now in a transistor we have two junctions. One is the base emitter junction and other is the collector base junction. Now depending on whether the junction is forward biased or a reverse biased, we can uh, uh, find the mode in which the transistor is working. So we say that if the base emitter junction is forward biased and the collector base junction is reverse biased, then the transistor is working in active mode. If both these junctions are forward biased, then the transistor is working in saturation mode. And if both the junctions are reverse biased, then the transistor is working in cutoff mode. Now next, how do we say whether a given junction is forward or reverse biased? So suppose we have a simple PN junction. Now if the P side is at higher potential with respect to the N side, we say that this junction is forward biased. And if the P side is at lower potential with respect to the N side, we say that this junction is reverse biased. So let us calculate what will be the potentials of this collector terminal, base terminal and emitter terminal. And after that, uh, we can justify whether a given junction is reverse or forward biased. So here you can see that the base potential is already given to us as 6 volt. So let us try to find what will be the emitter potential and the collector potential. Now since VBE is given as 0.7 volt, so we can definitely say that if base uh, potential is 6 volt, then the emitter potential must be 6 minus of 0.7, which will be 5.3 volt. So the emitter potential is also now known to us. So next let us try to calculate the value of collector potential. Let us call this as VC. Now if you look at this 3.3 kilo ohm resistor, you can, you can see that the potential difference across this resistance is 5.3 volt. So the emitter current can be given as potential difference across this resistance which will be 5.3 divided by 3.3 kilo ohm which gives me 1.6 milliampere. So the emitter current will be 1.6. Now using the current equation for a transistor which is emitter current is equal to collector current plus base current. Now you must understand that this particular equation, current equation is valid for NPN as well as for PNP transistor. The transistor which is given to us in the question by the direction of arrow over here in the emitter part, you can say that this is a NPN transistor. Now we know the value of beta which is 100, it is also the ratio of collector current and the base current. So if I put the value of base current IB equal to IC by beta in this equation, so you can see that the value of IC will be beta divided by beta plus 1 into IE. The value of beta is known as 100, the collector uh, emitter current, so the emitter current we had calculated as 1.6 milliampere, so the collector current will come out to be 1.59 milliampere. So we now know the collector current in this 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. Now if the collector potential is Vc, we can say that this collector current can also be written as 10 minus Vc which will be the potential difference across this resistor divided by the four value of this resistance which is 4.7 kilo ohm. So this will give me the value of Vc to be 2.52 volt. So now we have calculated the potentials of collector terminal, the base terminal and the emitter terminal. Now let us see whether the junctions are forward or reverse biased. So if you look at this base emitter junction, you can see that the P base is P type, collector is N type and the emitter is N type. So the base is at higher potential with respect to the emitter terminal. Base is 6 volt and the emitter terminal is 5.3 volt. So if the P type is at higher potential with respect to the N type, we can say that this junction is forward biased. So the base emitter junction is forward biased. Similarly, if you check this junction of collector and base, you can see that the collector is N type and it, is a po it has a potential of 2.52 volt and the base has a potential of 6 volt. So again, the P type material has a higher potential with respect to this N type. So definitely this collector base junction is also forward biased. So if both these junctions are forward biased, we can definitely say that the transistor is working in saturation mode. 
so this is the basic method by which we can calculate in which particular mode the transistor is working so next let us also try to find out that if the transistor is in saturation mode then what will be the base current so here you can see that the base voltage is given as 6 volt and we had seen that the emitter voltage can be calculated as 5, 6 minus of 0 0.7 which comes out to be 5.3 volt now if VCE saturation is given as 0 0.2 volt then I can say that the collector potential must be emitter potential plus 0 0.2 so which will be 5.5 volt now I can calculate the value of collector current and the emitter current we had calculated that this emitter current will be the potential difference across this 3.3 .3 kilo ohm resistor which is 5.3 divided by 3.3 .3, this will give me 1.6 milliampere and the collector current can be calculated as potential difference across this 4.7 kilo ohm resistor which will be 10 minus of 5.5 volt divided by 4.7 kilo ohm will give me the value of collector current which comes out to be 0 0.96 milliampere again if we use this transistor current equation i can say that the base current will be ie minus ic which will give me 0 0.64 milliampere so this particular configuration which is given to us the transistor is working in saturation mode and the base current will be 0 0.64 milliampere so if you look at the question we can say that this D option must be correct the transistor is in saturation mode with IB equal to 0 0.64 milliampere so this will be the correct option